North Castro and, uh, and the contribution to secularism of Sufi saints. So let me start uh, by quoting what Ajay said. This such was the voice of Khosrow, saint, savant, writer, poet, musician, statesman, creator of the sitar and the tabla, and of so many ragas. To my mind, the word uh, genius fails to to satisfy or to describe this unique creation of destiny and the Almighty. In, in very exceptional times, he straddled eight sultans of the Sultanate of Delhi. In an era of intense intrigue, vulgarity, blind ambition, commencing from the reign of Sultan El Tutmi, she remained a friend, advisor and guide to repeated and successive sultans till he passed away. But there is a unique, eclectic and daring beauty to his mind that is manifest in his couplets. And I will quote one. Khuda khud meere majlis bood andar la makaan khusro. Khuda khud meere majlis bood andar la makaan khusro. Muhammad shamme mehfil bood shab chaye ke man bood. The translation, God at the head of the crowd and Khusro lost in the infinite. Muhammad was the candle that lit the places I spent the night. I do not think in Urdu and Farsi poet you have a person of such courage that can place God and his prophet, peace be upon him, and then place himself prominently within the couplet. There is such a fear of a fatwa. So think again that he talks of God at the head of the crowd and he is in a way putting himself above him because he says, I am lost in the infinite. God is not lost in the infinite, but Khosro is lost in the infinite. And Muhammad is just the candle that lights the light, the night. So Khusro, as he is fascinating, is just lucky to be in Delhi because this city truly is the Mecca of Sufi saints. Starting from Qutbuddin Bakhtiyar Kaki, Hazrat Nizamuddin Auliya, Hazrat Nasiruddin Chirag Dehli, Khwaja Mir Dard, Sufi Sarmad, Hare Bhare Shah Sahib, and of course the great Naqshbandi saint, Khwaja Bakabilla. You name them and you have them here in Delhi. But interestingly, secularism, as I said, is the fundamental creed of the Sufi. While strictly following the Islamic decree, they have enough space for every thought. To my mind, I read Ghalib as a great Sufi. And therefore, I quote a couplet from Ghalib. Asle shahood shahidu mashhood ek hai. Aslo shahood shahidu mashhood ek hai. Hairan hu phir mushahida hai kis hesaab mein. What is seen or who sees or what is to be seen is all one. So what are we comparing? And that is the creed of the Sufi, which you will again see traveling through the centuries in India. This is actually the Vahidatul Wujood of Islam, that you have the creator everywhere. And it is so similar to the concept that we have in Hinduism of the ever-present omnipotent Brahman or the Paramatma where ultimately all of us want to distinguish and find ourselves in the place of the world. And you travel through the centuries. From Khosro and you come to the 18th century to a great poet called Siraj Dakhni. And again I write to him because I, 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 I want to stress on the strain of secular thinking in India which comes to us from, from the times of the Buddha. And 
and his next line wo ajab ghadi thi ke jis ghadi liya dars se nurs ka ishq ka ke kitab aqal ki taak mein jo dhari thi tyon hi dhari you shed your brain you shed your mind because the soul is what matters to the sufi and this comes out repeatedly so i will quote to you one more from rumi to ata the middle east the entire middle east which sees the sufi the sufi movement from the 13th century up to the 16th century maulana rumi moves from balkh and goes and settles via makkah and madina in konya and he has people who will listen to him and there is one saint called atar you should sell litter somewhere and converts and becomes a sufi and he says and i will quote his english couplet to you which is translated from persian he says heresy to the heretic and religion to the orthodox heresy to the heretic religion to the orthodox but the dust of the rose petal lies in the heart of the perfume seller oh. Oh. the couplet interestingly the persian version of it and it was done at the behest of abul fazl so please see the strain of sufism in and influencing our temples our mosques and the great leaders of the time so to my mind in the background of such profundity how tragic it has been for this great land i think for a moment to be divided on religious lines how tragic that many of us watch from the sidelines with a sense of dread the sinister dance of death that is so often played around us what saxena sab referred just now but there have been few amongst us who have stood up and fought this this did this and in that sense i think it's a very proud moment for me and a proud moment for all of us to stand here as we honor this great champion for secularism not from now to secularism he is a rare species a beacon of hope a modern revolution to light the torch of truth his has been a fight for the downtrodden imbibed in a fierce belief for achieving justice through positive affirmative action and to resist injustice wherever he has seen it jito mein hai to mandiron mein jaap hai ye mazhabon ka ashram ye qaum ka milap hai और ये लम्हा कल याद बन जाएगी लेकिन याद को भी कोई जरिया चाहिए याद आने के लिए उसका भी हमने इंतजाम किया है मेरी डॉक्टर राम सिंह जी से एक दरख्वास्त है कि आली जनाब लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर साहब को मेमेंटो से नवाजें और सी एस वर्मा जी को भी मेमेंटो दी है तो यही वो खास चीज है जिससे हमारी बहुत याद आएगी सौ मुख पर गा 